So, the bad juju will be remembered for the materials it costs for us to get a damn callus for this thing. It's as simple as that. And people, if you are close to getting the catalyst, unlocking it, or you're at the stage where you have to complete the catalyst before you can equip it, this video is for you. How is it going guys? My name's DPJ and I'd like to thank you for stopping by and checking out my video. If you enjoy it, leaving a like really helps me out. And if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay guys, so the bad juju is quite the weapon I remember. Although its intrinsic isn't as potent as what it was in Destiny 1, it's still quite efficient in getting you back your super, if enough enemies are around you. Another thing about this weapon is it's made the Huckleberry utterly useless now, but enough of that. So the string of curses is what's affected by this catalyst for the bad juju. The catalyst extends the duration of strings of curses by about 1.5 seconds or something like that. And although it doesn't seem that big of a deal, trust me, you feel it when using the weapon. So once you have collected and put down 45 tributes, you can then collect the catalyst from the facade of Callus. Now to apply this to the bad juju, you have to get said amount of kills with the weapon. Now exactly how many kills, I ain't sure, but it's normally around 500 on these catalysts for weapons which require kills. So where is the best place to do this? Now I've seen many posts on the world wide webs about people stating that the Whisper mission is the best. Uh, well, I'm not sure it's the best, but I would agree it's effective, but because of the time limit and actually getting to the spot where you can actually farm kills, you waste a lot of time in actually doing this, and because there's only 20 minutes in total for the mission, you do waste a lot of time. For me, and where I got this done, was Shu or Chi, where I do all my catalysts which require kills. This spot right here enabled me to get this catalyst done, completed in under 20 minutes, which is crazy. It's because there's just a constant spawn of ads. Now if you don't know, this place is actually pretty straightforward to get to. Simply load up the Last Wish Raid of the Dreaming City and make your way to the Wall of Wishes. If you don't know which way to go, follow the route I take on screen now. Now once you are here, enter this code by shooting the panels to match the image on screen. Once you are done, stand on that center pad. You will then be teleported to Shurochi and here is where the fun begins. Simply go up to the door and shoot away. Kill all the taken throw and either then kill yourself or jump off the map killing yourself. Yeah, And then simply rinse and repeat this process until you get this done people and it won't take you long at all. So on screen now people you can see the differences this catalyst has on a string of curses, before and after. And like I said, although it doesn't seem like much, when you have used this weapon as much as I have, you would definitely notice a massive difference for sure. But yeah guys, this in my opinion is the fastest way to get the catalyst done for the bad juju. And on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video, I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.